In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the location of the centroid of the region bounded by the equations shown below. And we're going to start with the region bounded by y equals the square root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 4. And we're also going to determine the moment about the x-axis and the moment about the y-axis given a planar laminar with uniform density rho. This represents the surface density, which is mass per unit area, as opposed to mass per unit volume. So let's start by finding the values of mx and my in terms of rho. So here's the formula that you need. mx is rho integral a to b, and then it's going to be 1 half f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. Now what we need to do is draw a graph first. And so this is the graph of y is equal to the square root of x. It looks like that. And it's bounded from the line y equals 0 and the line x equals 4. So this is the region of interest. We need to find the center of mass somewhere in that region. So f of x in this problem is the top part of the region, which is basically the square root of x. And g of x is the bottom part. It's y equals 0. So to calculate the moment about the x-axis, it's going to be the surface density times the integral from 0 to 4, 1 half f of x squared, which is the square root of x squared dx. The square root of x squared is just x. So we have 1 half rho integral from 0 to 4 x dx. So the antiderivative is going to be x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 4. So we're going to plug in 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 over 2 is 8. And then we plug in 0, which the whole thing is going to be 0. So half of 8 is 4. So the moment about the x-axis is going to be 4 times rho. Now let's calculate m sub y. So the formula for that, it's going to be rho times the definite integral from a to b, x, f of x minus g of x, dx. So a and b is the same, 0 and 4. And f of x is still the square root of x. g of x is 0. So this is going to be x times x to the 1 half. 1 plus a half is 3 over 2. And so the antiderivative of that is going to be 3 over 2 plus 1. So that's 5 over 2 times 2 over 5. So if we plug in 4, it's going to be 2 over 5 times rho. And then 4 raised to the 5 over 2 minus 0 to the 5 over 2. So this is basically the square root of 4 raised to the 5th power. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 to the 5th power is 32. And 32 times 2 is 64. So it's going to be 64 over 5 times rho. So that's m sub y. So now how can we determine the location of the centroid. How can we find the x and the y coordinates of the center of mass? Well, first, let's make more space to work with. Now, to find the x coordinate, it's going to be 1 over a times the definite integral from a to b, x times f of x minus g of x dx. A is the area of the shaded region. So the area is going to be the definite integral from A to B, f of x minus g of x times dx. 
So we've got to find the area first. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to 4 of the square root of x dx. So we can write that as x to the 1 half. Keep in mind, g of x is 0. So it's going to be x raised to 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, or times 2 over 3. So plugging in 4, it's going to be the square root of 4, which is 2, and 2 to the third is 8. And so the area is going to be 16 over 3, which I'm going to write that here for now. So now that we have the area of the shaded region, we could find the x-coordinate. So it's going to be 1 over a, or 1 over 16 over 3, the definite integral from a to b, 0 to 4, and then f of x is the square root of x, g of x is 0. So this is going to be 3 over 16, and x times the square root of x, or x to the first power times x to the half, that's x to the 3 halves. 3 over 2 plus 1, that's 5 over 2. And then we need to multiply it by 2 over 5. So 3 times 2 is 6. 16 times 5 is 80. And then we need to plug in 4 and 0 as well. So we know that 4 raised to the 5 over 2, we said that's 32. And so this is 6 over 16 times 5 times 32. So 32 divided by 16 is 2. And so we have 6 over 5 times 2, and so that's 12 over 5. So I'm going to write that here. So the x-coordinate of the centroid is 12 over 5. Now we need to find the y-coordinate. And so the formula for that, it's going to be 1 over a times the definite integral from a to b, 1 half f of x squared minus g of x squared. So this is going to be 1 over a, or 1 over 16 over 3, and then times 1 half, definite integral from 0 to 4, and f of x, that's the square root of x squared, and g of x is just 0. So this is going to be 3 over 16 times 1 half. And this is just going to be x. So this is going to be 3 over 32. Antiderivative of x is x squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 4. And so we're going to have 4 squared and then minus 0 squared, which we're not going to worry about that. So 4 squared is 16. And so we could cancel these two 16s. 32 can be broken into 16 and 2. So we have 3 over 2 times 2, or 3 over 4. And so this is the location of the center of mass. Now let's work on another example problem. So let's find a centroid that's bounded by the equations y equal x squared and y equals x cubed. So let's start with a graph. So y equals x squared, it looks like this. And y equals x cubed, it's more like that, the blue line. So first, we need to find the points of intersection. And so if we set x cubed equal to x squared, we can see that these two will be equal when x is 0 and when x is 1. If you want to show your work, you can move x squared to the other side and then factor. So we set x squared equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0. You get these two answers.
So now that we have the points of intersection, how can we determine the location of the centroid bounded by that region? And we need to determine mx and my as well. So first, let's start with m sub x, which we know it's going to be rho, definite integral from a to b, 1 half f of x squared minus g of x squared. So a is 0, b is 1. Now f is going to be the top part of the function, which is y equals x squared. So f of x is x squared. And g of x, that's going to be the blue function, that's x cubed. So this is x squared squared minus x cubed squared. So this is going to be 1 half rho, definite integral from 0 to 1, x to the 4th minus x to the 6th dx. At this point, I'm going to use a calculator to find the value of the definite integral. And so I got 2 over 35. And so these will cancel. And so for your final answer for mx, it should be rho divided by 35. So that's the moment of the whole system about the x-axis. Now let's calculate m sub y. So keep in mind, f of x is x squared, and g of x, that's the bottom function, is going to be x cubed. So as we mentioned before, m sub y is equal to rho times the definite integral from a to b, x times f of x minus g of x dx. So a and b are 0 and 1 respectively. f of x is x squared, g of x is x cubed. So let's begin by distributing the x value. So this is going to be x cubed minus x to the fourth. And let's use the calculator to get the value of the definite integral. calculator is a little slow, but I got 1 over 20. So the final answer for m sub y is rho divided by 20. Now, to calculate the x and the y coordinates for the centroid, we need to determine the area under the curve first. So that's just going to be the definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. So that's just going to be x squared minus x cubed. So you should get 1 over 12 for the area. So now let's determine the x-coordinate of the centroid. So let's start with the formula, which is x-bar is equal to 1 over a times the definite integral from a to b x times f of x minus g of x dx. So that's going to be 1 divided by 1 over 12. And then f of x is x squared, g of x is x cubed. 
So 1 divided by 1 over 12, that's 12. Now, the definite integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed minus x to the fourth power, we said it was 1 over 20. So we can write 12 as 4 times 3, and 20 is 4 times 5. So we could cancel the 4, and so the x coordinate is 3 over 5. So now let's find the y coordinate of the center of mass. So this is going to be 1 over 1 over 12 again. And f of x is x squared, so if we square that, that's going to be x to the fourth. And then g is x cubed, so g squared is x to the sixth. So then this is equal to 12, and then half of 12 is 6. My calculator is a little slow in calculating some definite integrals. But this is going to be 2 over 35. And so that's 12 over 35. So that's the y-coordinate of the centroid. And so this is the answer. So for this section, all you need to do is determine the appropriate formulas that you need to calculate mx, my, and the x and y-coordinates of the centroid. You need to be able to determine which of these two equations is f of x and which one is g of x. So you have to graph it, and you need to determine the points of intersection, which is going to be a and b. Once you do that, you just got to plug it into the formula and get the answer.